Tire Stakes Trail Pacing B Division. Get your tickets in. We got Exactor, Superfecta, and Triactor wagering here for race number five. Uh, it's been a great card so far. Uh, any final thoughts going into this one, Brad? No, just I think probably the final thought it is here is see how these Beth the Moons translate out on the track for the first crop sire. All right, well, Joe Kelly, he'll have the call here of race number five. It's the first division of the Atlantic Sire 6, two-year-old pacing Phillies B division. Two-year-old Phillies moving in behind the home hardware building center starting gate. It's fifth race post time. Race number five of the evening, Atlantic Sire Stake, two-year-old pacing Philly, B Division, first 6,000, number one for Hill Jubilee, Westover Jordan, J.J. Nicky, How Mac Art is last, Susie Burt, Sandra's Pretty Girl, and Windermere Fluster. We're off and uh, pacing Halbach Artist last. Firing off the wings of the gate first to grab that early lead away. Second, West River Jordan. Then up on the outside, that is Susie Burt. And a little leggy there in that first turn. She's got off stride now. As they race on by the opening eighth and into the back stretch, Halbach Artist last opening up on the front is clear now by five, six lengths. West River Jordan is back in second, followed by J.J. Nicky third. Then Fernhill Jubilee paces out the rail in fourth. Fifth one is Sandra's Pretty Girl. Looking for a seat in six, Windermere Fluster. Then uh, back and racing in uh, seventh is Susie Burt. They continue on to the 3 8 now. Opening quarter was 29 and 1 with the inquiry sign posted. It's Almack Artist last on the front end. Now just by two and a half. Tightening up in the two spot is J.J. Nicky. Then back now in third. That is Westover Jordan off the turn. 29 and a fifth the quarter as they arrive at the half. Almack Artist last continues on the front end. Is there by two and a half. J.J. Nicky in pursuit. Second, third. West River Jordan. Fourth at the rail is Fernhill Jubilee. Up on the outside. Here comes Windermere Fluster. Starting up uncovered in five. Sixth and moving off the rail is Sandra's Pretty Girl. And off stride once again at the back. That is Susie Burt. The half paced in a minute. Three-fifths seconds onto the Redland Farms backstretch. As they approach three quarters, it is Hal Mark Artis last stepping off now by five on the outside. Windermere Fluster is gaining ground, moving up into second. J.J. Nicky drops back to third. Then West River Jordan is sitting at the rail in four. Fifth outside is Sandra's Pretty Girl. They're midway round the final turn. Three quarters in one, 30 and four. And uh, drawing off in the field here is Hal Mack Artist. Last clear now by six, seven lengths as they make the final turn. It's all Hal Mack Artist last. Here in the B division of the two-year-old pacing Phillies, the battle is strictly for the place spot on the outside. Windermere Fluster, but it's Ar Mack Artist last to win the B division. Second is Windermere Fluster. And closing for third is Fernhill Jubilee. Mile in two minutes, two-fifths. Inquiry here in the fifth race. Judges looking at the breaks made by five, Susie Burt.
Back to the Woodmere Farms Winter's Enclosure. Is how much artists last? The Philly by Articulator out of the Chemistic Dam Atomic Smile. Owned by Corey Livingston, Kevin Teasdale, Dustin McGinnis, and Wade McDonald. Was bred by Halmack Farms Limited, trained by Melissa Rene, and driven by Adam Murner. Halmack Artist Last, winning the first B division of two year old fillies in two minutes and uh, two fifths. Trackside, Roseanne Langell on behalf of the Atlantic Standard Bread Breeders, making the blanket presentation.